everybody that their informants tell them this and informants tell them that. I'm still trying. I'm still trying, and I'm still trying to get some somebody to listen to me out there and listen to my witnesses and to, to at least take the material. You know, Dana Davis had the same stuff she showed me. She walked into the FBI in Oklahoma City shortly after the bombing and said, here, I have all this material. It may be of some assistance to you. And they said, we don't want it. They refused to even take it. Just like Sedan trying to give us the names of al-Qaeda and arrest bin exactly. Laden. Exactly. And they said, we don't want to do that. Well, then I think it, you're an investigator. You're a prosecutor, Mr. Shippers. You prosecuted the president of the United States, successfully got the indictment, but not... Uh, prosecuted the outfit here in Chicago for five years. So, you know... You can see the motive. I see more intelligence funding. I see the Cashless Society with the biometrics. I see an expanded U.N. I see NATO planes patrolling our skies. Right. Uh, U.N. General McKenzie on Nightline uh, the 19th, the week after the attack, eight days after the attack, saying we need U.N. troops on our borders. I see global government being empowered and uh, a takeover of the Middle East and Central Asia uh, by the West. I mean, I, I see great dividends for them by allowing this to happen. So I hope to God you're wrong. I, I do. but uh, And I, I can't fight with you or argue with you on it because it does seem to be heading that way. For I trying to protect their country, the heroes get crucified. The heroes get crucified and the bureaucrats sit out there and tell each other what a great job they're doing until another city blows up. And then they say we need more tools. They have all the tools in the world. They could have found the money years ago if they had just listened. We've got to go public because we tried to do it the right way. We tried to do it by going to the people in whom you would normally repose your confidence and trust. It didn't work. Nobody cares. Well, we know this. The bureaucrats are going to get even more funding now. You want more evidence of prior knowledge? The October 24, 2001 Associated Press reported that Ari Fleischner in a White House press briefing admitted that George Bush and much of his cabinet were already on Cipro on September 11th, three and a half weeks before the first traces of it popped up in Boca Raton, Florida. This is a whole nother section. We can make a whole other film on it, but it was actually proven that the anthrax was sent from Fort Detrick, Maryland, a U.S. weapons lab, again, to create fear another smoking gun it never ends I know the information in this documentary film is extremely painful but the facts are the facts Bush signed a document blocking the FBI and defense intelligence from stopping al-Qaeda they're actually suing him over it now and realize that it's Democrats as well the New World Order controls things at the top and if we don't hold government responsible they're going to use this terror to get more control over our lives now President Bush is seeking to restrict Capitol Hill probes. He had Dick Cheney call six separate congressional committees and threaten them, telling them not to investigate September 11th. And of course, the president has also activated the secret government. For the first time in history, FEMA command bunkers are brimming with National Security Agency personnel. And on top of it, Congress wasn't even advised. Neither the Senate leader nor the Speaker of the House were even told, despite the fact that they are in the direct line of ascension in the chain of power. Why is it the president including elected officials in the continuity of government program? Back in 1999, there was a rising young star in Russia. He just stepped down as the head of the KGB, the new FSB, Vladimir Putin. He was Boris Yeltsin's top deputy. But how was he going to get into office when the polls showed the people didn't want him? Simple. He was caught blowing up three separate apartment buildings. That is, members of the FSB were with explosives. Moscow police actually arrested them. Now in 2002, members of the FSB, the Federal Security Bureau, have gone public with the information, as well as explosives experts and Vladimir Putin's best buddy, Boris Berovsky. They seized his media empire when he reported the facts. Again, Moscow police back in 1999 actually caught members of the FSB planting the bombs in a fourth building to create fear throughout the population. Now other top government officials have gone public saying that they knew the government was actually preparing to bomb buildings in 1999 as a pretext for control. And now they're actually seizing the videotape that proves it when Russian journalists as well as Russian politicians try to bring the film back into the country. So, carrying one of them terrorist manuals, are we? 
It's Ashcroft standing over Uncle Sam reading a book that says the Bill of Rights. Sounds like a joke, doesn't it? You're about to see the evidence. It's actually the facts. They're teaching police that if you read the Bill of Rights, you're with the terrorist. What has America come to? We're becoming more and more Sovietized every single day. And our, our new gracious homeland leader is George W. Bush. It's a sick joke. Who really stands to gain from this terrorism? The evidence is clear. The forces of the new world order. Now let's talk about terrorism. Let's talk now about terrorism and about those who see violence against innocent civilians as a legitimate means, in their view, to achieve their ends. This new law that I signed today will allow surveillance of all communications used by terrorists, including emails, the Internet, and cell phones. Oh, the answer is yes. It's a war we have to win if we're going to protect the people of this country. I think the real issue is what do we sacrifice, what do we give up in the process? So there is going to be a continuing trade-off between security and liberty and freedom uh, going forward in the 21st century. Security is having this discussion right now with the political leaders. And we're probably going to be asked to do some things that uh, many people might not like because uh, it's going to call into question uh, some of the freedoms that we have had. Politics of terror. In the 20th and 21st century, inspection of any major terrorist event reveals that it is actually governments financing terrorist organizations to get a desired political outcome to condition their population to accept higher levels of control you've seen hitler stalin mao you've seen them all do it throughout the 20th century and now in the 21st century they're telling us it's going to be the century of terror and the century of a new world order Look at the U.S. government. They tell us to give up our rights while our borders stay wide open, while tens of millions of people pour across our borders, come in through our ports, and land on airplanes. They have the nerve to tell American citizens that we must accept a national ID card in the name of safety. Use some common sense. The government tells us to leave the borders open even after September 11th and then treats us like slaves. Doesn't make any sense unless you're a slave master. You see, ladies and gentlemen, you have been declared the terrorist. You're looking at an FBI flyer, and they've gone out nationwide, where the FBI actually states that Christians, conservatives, gun owners are part of terrorist organizations. Defenders of the U.S. Constitution are listed as terrorists. If police encounter them, call the FBI anti-terrorism hotline immediately. Even defenders of the U.S. Constitution, people that make numerous references to the U.S. Constitution. Wait a minute, I thought police swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution, not in the new America, not with an America with a big fat K. Face the facts, America. You are the terrorist. Abby Newman claims the checkpoint was unconstitutional. State police say the stop was legal, and Newman took it too far when she assaulted them. You can take a look at the video from the trooper's car taken here from the website Infowars.com and judge for yourself. Notice that the media wouldn't show a full screen, so no one could tell what was actually happening. We'll show you what really happened. I need to know who you are. No, you don't. Yes, ma'am, I, I do. I am not speeding. I am not intoxicated. I have given you no reason to stop me, and this irritates me. And I would be very happy to go into town and talk to the supervisor. Sir, you cannot. You cannot. This is my Step out of the vehicle. No, sir. You cannot reach into this vehicle. Sure, I can. You cannot. I got to know who you are. The, you do not. I, I must know who you are before you can go down the road. I have not broken any laws. I know. I have not accused you of breaking any laws, ma'am. You ma just reached in my vehicle and opened this door. And are I, I have no idea who you are. The officer admits she's done nothing wrong, but she still must present her papers. All part of being guilty until proven innocent. I need to know who you are. Do you have a driver's you license? You just proved to me you don't have probable cause because you don't avoid Okay, shut your ignition off for me. Pardon me? Turn your car off for me. Why do I have to Because I'm asking you to turn my car off. You are violating my United States constitutional rights. Any laws that go contrary to the United States Constitution are null and void, and I do not have to submit to them. I am not intoxicated. You have already stated you don't know who I am, so therefore... Uh, I, I that's the whole point. I, I don't, don't know who you are. I've told you who I am. Okay, this is an approved checking detail site. Are you going to tell me who you are? No, sir. You're not going to tell me who you, you are? You have not charged me with anything. You have not told me I've well, done anything wrong, and I do not owe you that, sir. Because I don't serve you, you serve me. Okay. Because when you take one, you take another, you take another, and before all, you know it, we can't go anywhere without our papers, and that's what this is. May I see your papers, please? 
You can't travel down this road, ma'am, unless I show you show me your papers, please. You've already told me that the stickers are in order. I wasn't traveling.